Hi, this is Steve Zarr from Zarr Dental Lab, and you are watching part two of the series for Nance Buttons. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how I solder the Nance button. I use a very liquidy flux. To begin with, I add my flux to my wires. This, um, the Nance button that I, the wires have been spot welded with a spot welder to give extra adherence. I like the flux to be nice and creamy. You can do this by adding water. And I have a video that demonstrates on the 10 steps that I, my 10 most important steps on soldering. I'll leave the link above and below in the description. The next step is to add some heat to the solder joint. And I use a small butane micro torch, a blazer torch for this procedure. I use a crucible that allows me to allows gravity to flow where I need the solder to flow. The, the model is actually on an angle, it's about a 60 degree angle. And I also use my hand to just lift it up and allow the solder to flow by using gravity of course. Now this procedure I'm doing a little bit extra. I kind of paint the flame on it. That's what I'm doing just to help the uh, solder joint flow a little bit better. It doesn't take much to solder this appliance but you do have to be pretty accurate. You don't want any porosity or bubbles for overheating the wire. If you do this fast and productive, you don't really need to use heat shield. Um, sometimes I do use heat shield to protect the wire, but I'm pretty fast at soldering. If you're going to solder too long and overheat the wheel, or overheat the wire, you'll anneal it, and that'll cause breakage. Coming up um, in the next video will be lesson three, and that'll be my finishing video. How to add acrylic to the Nance button, separator acrylic, and also finishing what burrs I use, and so on.